Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelp, and this is the Sports Nightly Ticker. Congratulations are in order for Nebraska softball head coach Rhonda Ravel and her associate head coach Lori Sippel and assistant coach Diane Miller were named the Midwest Regional Staff of the Year by the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association today. The Huskers won their first Big Ten title tournament, of course, this season for softball and secured their eighth 40th win season in program history on their way to an NCAA regional appearance. The Outdoor Track and Field Championships continue today as the Huskers are busy yet again. But first to recap yesterday's men's action, Alex Talley kicked things off for Nebraska, finishing sixth in the hammer throw with his best toss, measuring 234 feet and eight inches. He made All-American. Darius Luft received honorable mention after finishing 17th in the 110-meter meter hurdles with a time of 13.74. Berger Lambrex Jr. earned his uh, fifth career All-American honor, earning a second team spot after 15th place finish in the shot put. His best throw measured 62 feet and 8 inches. Maxwell Otterdahl finished just three places back of Lambrex, earning honorable mention with a best throw of 61 feet and 8.5 and inches. Tonight, it's the women's team's turn as Maddie Harris and Murda Kulisic will compete in the women's javelin event at 8.45 p.m., followed by LaQuasia Stepney and the long jump at 9 p.m., and wrapping things up for Nebraska tonight will be Axelina Johansson in the shot put at 940. Three Huskers alumni also made headlines uh, between tonight and today. Former Huskers wrestler Jordan Burroughs won the Final 10 series last night, beating Chance Marsteller in three rounds to secure his 11th World or Olympic team roster spot. He'll compete at the 2022 Senior World Championships on September 10th. They go through September 18th where Jordan will have a chance to take sole possession of the freestyle title record, which he currently shares with wrestler John Smith. Former Huskers bowler Liz Kulkin won the Professional Women's Bowling Association Long Island Classic today, so congratulations, Liz. And lastly, former Husker Jack McVeigh was named to Australia's senior national team to represent his home country in the FIBA World, uh, excuse me, World Cup qualifiers taking place later this month from June 30th. Through July 1st. Elsewhere in college sports, game two of the softball college world series championship final will get underway at 6.30 p.m. tonight as Texas looks to fend off Oklahoma following their 16 to 1 game one win. The Sooners can win again tonight. They will be crowned world series champs. Over to pro sports this evening in the MLB. One game in action currently. It's scoreless. The Nationals and Marlins are in the bottom of the first. Some games going in just a few minutes here. The Athletics will take on the Guardians. The Pirates will battle the Braves. The Yankees and Twins will battle at 640. The Orioles and Royals will be at 710. The Red Sox and Angels meet at 838. And then earlier finals this afternoon, Diamondbacks beat the Reds 5-4. to four. The Rays topped the Cardinals 2-1. to one. The Dodgers won a seesaw game with the White Sox up in Chicago. The Phillies topped the Brewers 8-3. to three, And the Rockies defeated the Giants 4-2. to two. And then finally in hockey, one spot remains in the NHL Stanley Cup Finals as the Eastern Conference Finals resume tonight at 7 p.m. For leading the series 2-0, the New York Rangers will look to turn back the revived Tampa Bay Lightning who have won two straight to tie the series at two. Again, Game 5 drops the puck at 7 p.m. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelps, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. A third and goal to one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! All right, ball's inside the one for Nebraska. First and goal. Ramir in the back. Adrian gets the shotgun snap, hands it off to Ramir. Left side, touchdown, Nebraska. And the Huskers back to it in six points. Snap back, play action. Taking a shot, throw and pass caught by Manning at the 10. Eludes a bottom maker to the five. One more Manning dives. Touchdown, Nebraska. Snap back, play action, step throws, ball deflected up in the air, intercepted, picked off, rumbling down the sideline is Luke Reimer inside the five, he's inside the one, out of bounds around the two, Luke Reimer with a terrific INT. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And good evening. Welcome to our, our final live show of the week. We'll have an encore presentation of Sports Nightly for you tomorrow night, but certainly glad to be with you here on a Thursday night. If you want to be a part of the program, our phone lines, text lines always open and available for you at 402-413-2400 as we speed our way through the month of June. Oh, man, tomorrow's going to be the 10th day of this month already. Where did that, where is this time flying by? Uh, we got 
the college softball World Series might end tonight. Probably will end tonight, right? After Oklahoma just smoked Texas last night. And I think it kind of brings up the, the age-old question, Jessica, are dynasties and these kind of dominations, are they good for a sport or not? I think you can argue both sides of this. That thing was over in a hurry last night. Yeah, I think some people are on one side. I'm not a fan of dynasties, you know, even if it is Oklahoma softball. And I was uh, I have a good friend that's a member of that staff and work with them for a long time. But just throughout every sport and watching sports, I'm not a fan of when a team gets there and stays there. I like to see the different teams come in and the Cinderella stories and all of that. But uh, to me, I just think it was a really, um, like, the matchup, would have been a better, more exciting matchup had it been Oklahoma State because Oklahoma State had better pitching than Texas. And kind of what I said last night with Dolcini with Texas, Oklahoma had figured her out by the next time they saw her. So I was kind of surprised that Texas went ahead and started her. And of course, they got to her early. And then it was, boy, it was just a snowball. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily think the you know, maybe Oklahoma was that dominant all year. I think they kind of put it together at the end and then got the right matchups. But I also think it might it maybe could have, would have, you never know, maybe been a better, more exciting series had it been Oklahoma State that beat Texas. They have clearly separated, and I'm talking about the Sooners, they have clearly separated themselves from the rest of the sport. And UConn Hoops has done that in the past on the women's side where they were clearly better than teams were at that point in time. Now that has kind of evened itself out. And I think women's basketball is better for it, that there's more uh, parity yes. around the thing. Right now in college softball, it is a clear-cut domination for Oklahoma. Yeah, they do lose Jocelyn Allo, arguably the best hitter of all time in, in the sport. She'll be gone next year, but they got a lot of – a lot of people coming back and you know they're probably hauling in a top recruiting class but i think the the game has grown overall and then again with these super seniors and and the way that that's affected the game maybe we'll see i don't i don't necessarily think the dynasty is that oh no one's catching them now i don't think it's they've separated themselves that much this year absolutely but i don't think moving forward next year it's hard to say that this is going to be the exact same thing in a year that, that nobody will be able to touch them. I, it, we'll have to see how it all plays out. But I think this year's kind of been a special year because of all the super seniors and, and the way that it all came together with, with Jordy Ball, the freshman having a good year pitching and, and all of that. But, you know, I mean, as, as we've talked a lot about, a good pitcher, obviously what Jordy did, a good pitcher can really change the trajectory of a team and a program. No doubt, but she's so young. She's got three years ahead of her. But where the she's new freshman be... coming in could maybe change completely for a new team. Could. You know, that's what I'm saying is right. you never know when a Jordy Ball might go to another team. Uh, a Jordy Ball type of player might go to a different team that changes their uh future of, of how their program looks. I'd love, and I know you spent some time today with Rhonda Ravel, Husker softball coach. I'd love her take on this because I think she's probably of the mindset, are sports better if we have good, exciting championship games? Last night was not that at all. She is, and everybody that plays softball is a part of softball. My cousin who played softball at Kansas, you know, everybody that is a part of it says that. It's not, you know, it's better for the sport when there isn't, you know, a, a dynasty, a dominating you know, uh, team like Oklahoma. And, and we saw it last year, even with, it was three games in the series last year in the championship series. And even the uh, games that led up to the championship were exciting, were fun. And there's a reason why they set all those records uh, viewership wise, because those games were, were close and tight. And, and some of these games have not been as fun to watch for those that like to watch close ball games and so I'll be interested to see what the ratings look like of this one because I can't imagine a lot of people like watching just you know runaway games like this which again in turn hurts the sport if people aren't watching Correct. and tuning in yeah 30 minutes into that thing last night it was over yeah, yeah. it really was and, and it's, it's too bad because it's a wonderful spectacle it's a wonderful sport uh, but man it has just been a steamroll job by Oklahoma uh, and credit to them they've made a good team it's up to the rest of the country to catch up don't, you know, don't expect them to come back to you. Get better. Go, go get better and compete with them. And I'm sure there's coaches all across the country that will be trying to do that. We did get a better game in the NBA last night. That was a pretty good basketball game. Golden State was behind almost the entire way, but they kept it close enough that you kind of hung in there to the fourth quarter. But a good win for the Celtics last Even night. Even took the lead and uh, credit to the Celtics for 
uh, you know, responding and, and getting the lead right back. But yeah, that was definitely way more entertaining than game two. And we should have known that because Andrew told us that's how it was going to happen. Right. Night. I know Andrew's the, the projector of all things basketball, right? But mm -hmm. um, no, Clay Thompson got going too. So it'll he be, did. it will be, um, I'll be anxious to see how that carries over and if that, um, if, and I don't know about Steph, what his status will be, but if, Clay gets it going, and then the other guards get it going. We'll see how game game four might be a little bit more interesting. Here's what we have coming up on the program tonight. Just got a chance to catch up with Gabe Irvin, young running back who got hurt last week in the Oklahoma game, of all places, where he hurt his knee and was out for the rest of the season. He's been rehabbing since that point in time. He did not take part in many spring drills of football, but is close to being declared to be 100%. I think he'll be full go when camp opens in late July for the Huskers to start the 2022 season. We can't wait to hear from Gabe. The coaches a year ago raved about how mature he was for being a true freshman a year ago, and now he's got another 10, 12 months under his belt. I think that's a guy that's going to be easy to pull for if you're a Husker football fan. So he was in full pads for the spring game. He told me he was 100% released right after the spring game. So not not in time to play in that spring game. And obviously you don't just go jump right into playing like that. But he told me he was 100% released, good to go, and was right at the end of spring ball. So I think he'll be 100% full go come fall camp probably is 100 percent full go in these workouts that they're having with coaches right now which is big for him to kind of get you, you think about a player like gabe how much that benefits having these summer workouts and practices that you're able to have with coaches that he wasn't going to have beforehand that couldn't have had beforehand before the rule change so he's getting some time on the field with coach applewhite that he didn't get to have in the spring so it would have just been pick right up in the fall trying to get a fill for coach applewhite and, and learning under him but yeah he's a, a great kid and you know we kind of joked about it yesterday he was early and some of the other running backs were a little bit late and um so he was the one that um was sitting there waiting on to take all of his pictures and everything and so coach applewhite was like you could you could talk to gabe he was here on time <laughs> you're a little joking but you know just uh he is he's i think he came in last year didn't seem like a freshman and didn't act like a freshman and now he doesn't seem like a sophomore or he his red shirt's burned right it, it yeah. was yeah unfortunately because yep. that was the fourth game mm -hmm. i think that yep. he got hurt four in. games yep so that's the cutoff point for that so uh, a shame that that happened to him, but can't wait for him to get out there and compete. And that's a good room. It's a much better room, I think, it, than it was six months ago. Ramirez certainly took a major step up last year as a, a feature type back. You've added Anthony Grant, who showed off some of his incredible talent in the spring game, the junior college transfer to the program. And you add Gabe into it, and it's going to be a, a fun fall, I think, for those guys to fight for playing time to kick it off in Ireland against Northwestern in just a couple of months. Time for us to tell you that you, this is a great time for you to customize your Husker football three game mini plan on sale now for only $180 you get to choose a game from each month in September you get to choose either the North Dakota game or the Georgia Southern game October Indiana or Illinois November Minnesota or Wisconsin whatever works for those those three six games in those three months seating is located in both end zones the north and south end zones if you are interested in that and hundreds of Husker fans have already taken advantage of this. Go to Huskers.com slash tickets to go put together your own plan. So you could pick North Dakota, Illinois, Minnesota, or you could pick Georgia Southern, Indiana, or Wisconsin, or a combination of those things, uh, one a month. Uh, go ahead and customize your own plan. It's perfect if you can't commit to an entire seven-game home schedule. Maybe your pocketbook doesn't allow you to do that. Maybe your time commitments, you can't break away that many times, uh, but you just you want to be there and be a part of several Husker football games. This is a terrific way for you to do that. Coming up also in hour number two, we have another episode ready to drop of Kicking Back with the Cooks. John Cook and Lauren Cook talking all things Husker volleyball. We'll play you a snippet of the latest podcast. It's going to be out in its entirety in just a couple of days. Looking forward to that as well. And 
also in our number two, Jeannie Sutherland, who is now new, was has been recently named by Trev Alberts as the new women's golf coach. Going to be with us to talk about her vision for the program going forward. The Huskers have done a nice job the last couple of years of kind of climbing the ladder in the Big Ten Conference as it relates to women's golf. And Coach Sutherland now will take over, and we can't wait to get her on the program and talk about her thoughts about Husker golf moving forward. Jessica, I am fascinated by this live tour story. They played their first round of their first tournament today over in London. Um, also today, the PGA Tour came out, and for the 17 golfers that are playing in this event that are also members of the T PGA Tour, they have had their membership suspended by the PGA for taking part in this rival tour that has been put together uh, called Live Golf. Their event is in London this week. They've got, they're coming to the U.S. for some, some of the stops in, in the coming weeks. Phil Mickelson played today. Dustin Johnson, uh, who is the one of the top five players in the world currently played today. Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood, and Sergio Garcia. But the PGA quickly came down and said, they've made their decisions. They're off our tour. They've been suspended for our tour. They're not allowed to play in our, any of our tour events since they have taken this step. Ian Poulter was asked about the, the suspension afterwards, and he said, I'm going to appeal this. He said, this makes no sense. I've had the ability to play golf all over the world. What's wrong with that? I haven't done anything wrong. How many, how many times have I gone and played in the Asian tour, the Japanese tour, or in China or in South Africa? I've played everywhere where the game of golf is played. Now they want to take that opportunity away from me. That's disappointing. He says, I will appeal this verdict by the PGA. This, I, I'm just fascinated by this story because the PGA has kind of had a monopoly on these guys. They've basically said, you want to play in the best things, you be part of our tour. Now you don't want to be. We don't want, now we want to kick you away from these things. I think this is going to be really fun to follow. Yeah, and especially if more golfers jump ship and go over there. And, and I, I think it's less about, oh, I want to make more money. The more I have you know dove into it, and, and I have a friend that's a caddy on the PGA Tour, and it's more about trying to change the sport and the way the PGA does things. I mean, if you look comparably to the professional leagues, in the nation, the NBA, NFL, MLB, the players get 50% of the revenue. With PGA, they only get about 25%. And so it's more about, you know, PGA sharing more of that revenue. And, you know, I think the more players that continue to jump ship, the PGA is going to have to do something. And so, but if Liv is giving, you know, all these money, all this money, this guaranteed money to golfers, it's worth, it's worth it probably to them, again, not just for the money, but to help change golf for the better because there hasn't been an option to do that before and there's you know so this might in their minds help change the sport and make things better for future generations of golfers it's going to be fascinating to follow and i you know I, I i watch the golf channel a lot and they've talked about this they've not they've not shied away from it they've obviously kind of backed the pga tour in kind of their stands on this thing but they're covering this thing they're not showing they're not showing live coverage of the, the live tournament from London today, but they're covering it because these are some of the bigger names in the sport. Phil Mickelson's one of the giant names of this sport. So is Dustin Johnson. These are guys who say, hey, they're offering me more money to play golf. Why would I not look at that? They're also making it 54 whole events, not 72. And they're not playing as many tournaments, so I don't have to play as much. I don't have to be away from my family as much. So uh, obviously... There's people, and rightfully so, this is a fair argument. They don't like where the money for this turn of this tour is being funded by. It's coming from Saudi. A lot of it's coming from Saudi Arabia, which a lot of people have an issue with, and I, I certainly understand that. So this is going to be fa This is a real, really interesting battle going on between some of the biggest names in the sport. Pretty cool. I wonder, too, you know, as, as the numbers grow and you have some of the bigger names. I mean, Dustin Johnson, what, a year ago was the number one golfer in the world? And, you know, if you have more of these players that go on to that tour and then the PGA kind of gets watered down, you know, then the players that are still on the PGA Tour, like, you know, might not like that kind of competition. You know, I just, I don't, it, it's, again, the way that it could unfold can make things very interesting. I, I also said, saw that they said indefinite, so they didn't put a timetable right. on it. But I, I would like to have been in that meeting room of, hey, what are we going to do about this? Oh, we're going to suspend them. You know, they'd, they're going to dig their heels in, it sounds like, until they absolutely have to in terms of maybe trying to negotiate and, and make things better what the golfers are wanting from the PGA to try to make the sport better in, in their minds and opinions. 
Going to be interesting to follow. All right, those are, that's what we have on the program here tonight, 402-413-2400, the number to dial us up with a comment or question. That is on our Sports Nightly Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. We're back with more of the show, including a sit-down conversation with Gabe Irvin. That's coming up next. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Hey Huskers fans, tomorrow on Sports Nightly, we'll have another Encore show featuring our favorite Sports Nightly content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. In Hour 1 Friday, we'll hear from new Huskers football pass rusher O'Shawn Mathis, new men's basketball assistant coach Adam Howard, and Huskers linebacker Luke Reimer. Joining us in Hour 2, new football admin Vince Ginta, Huskers QB Casey Thompson, and punter Brian Bushini. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! The 2022 Nissan Rogue Sport is street savvy, road trip ready, and always fun to drive. Equipped with standard features like rear automatic braking, blind spot warning, and high beam assist so you can surround yourself with confidence on the road. Plus, explore the three Rogue Sport trims to find the one that's right for you and your lifestyle. Choose your experience and shop, finance, and purchase online at woodhouse.com or in store at Woodhouse Nissan in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Hey Huskers fans, tomorrow on Sports Nightly, we'll have another Encore show featuring our favorite Sports Nightly content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. In Hour 1 Friday, we'll hear from new Huskers football pass rusher O'Shawn Mathis, new men's basketball assistant coach Adam Howard, and Huskers linebacker Luke Reimer. Joining us in Hour 2, new football admin Vince Ginta, Huskers QB Casey Thompson, and punter Brian Bushini. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. 
The Huskers provide the best on the field, and so does Kubota. The new Kubota L60 Limited Edition Series provides the best package for affordability, quality, and comfort, like the deluxe Grand L factory installed cab or spacious open operator station. Maximize performance with Kubota's best in class HST Plus transmission and many other features of the L60 LE Series. Experience the Kubota difference. Visit NebraskaKubotaDealers.com or see Rush Kubota in West Point or Roar's Machinery in Beatrice. There's nothing better than the smoky aroma of grilled beef at the ballpark. This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council reminding you to pick up a package of steaks or burgers for your next tailgate party. Whether you're setting up in the parking lot or cheering from home, nutritious beef is a home run choice when cheering on the Huskers. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for delicious beef recipes, grilling tips, and tailgate inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Thursday night of Sports Island here on the Huskers Radio Network. What a treat tonight. We're going to get a chance to hear from Gabe Irvin. Boy, did he get off to a really good start as a Husker last fall. Got hurt in game four, which, by the way, as we were doing the math, I was trying to do it in my head as we were talking about opening segment. He can still get a red shirt effect. If he had played a fifth game, he'd be out. But he was a game four, so he's still a, a freshman. Okay, so uh, four games, that's good. Uh, if he needs it, he might not need it. Who knows? You never know. But, um, yeah, he – and you could kind of tell, too, and I don't know how you felt, Greg, but it seemed like – he had started to kind of figure things out a little bit that it was, um, you know, maybe the first couple of games, getting his footing under him, figuring out this college football thing. So he, he had started kind of, he's running the ball pretty well at Oklahoma. And so it's pretty devastating to see him go down. And it, you could also tell, too, when he went down, because I was on the sideline for that game, um, when he did go down, the team just swarmed him, how well he's liked in the locker room, too. So, um, yeah, he is a, a great kid, was impressed with him last year as a freshman, and was glad to hear him be so upbeat and positive yesterday when he was uh, down there for the photo shoot for the Internal Media Day. Well, Gabe, how you feeling? Feeling great. You know, I'm just happy to be back out here, happy to be back on the field, another opportunity to play for the Nebraska Huskers, which is great. How you feeling health-wise coming off the ACL tear and rehab? Health-wise, I feel better than I was before. You know, my knee is stronger and is ready to put to work. You know, before last fall, all the coaches talked about how you handled your business. It wasn't like you were a freshman, and I'm sure you attacked the rehab the same way. So what was your approach knowing that you had to put in the work to get back healthy? I just knew there was no other choice, you know, is either put in the work now or never. So I just put the same, you know, attitude that I first came in to rehab, and it worked out good for me. Now I'm back fully healthy, 100%. You got a, a taste of playing at this level, but a lot of players talk about how when they're injured and they have to sit out and watch the game, they learn it a different way. Did you learn a new perspective of it? I definitely I now look at the game in a whole different perspective, you know, on and off the field. I don't take it for granted anymore. I go out there 100% like it's my last, and that's why I approach the game now. In the, the games that you did get to play, what was your big takeaway about, you know, your game and how it translates? You know, I'm downhill back. I know how to get downhill north and south, and it's just downhill running. You know, Nebraska is really downhill. We're on the center now, which is good, so I can really put my attributes to work. Did it, it seemed like you were kind of hitting a stride. Did it feel like you kind of were getting a feel of the game a little bit before you went down? Yes, I definitely got a feel of the game, you know, the game speed. I was just, the Oklahoma game, I was just starting to get more adjusted and the feel of it, of college football. And now game one against Northwestern, I'm ready. So take us through the rehab process. What were what was some of the work that you did to make sure that you were going to be ready to go? You know, I just had to strengthen that quad. I had to get that quad, you know, more strengthened for for the big games, you know, and just like, you know, single leg stuff, just more of the quad. I had to build up the quad, and once I got the quad, you know, strong enough, then it was good. You look like you put on some weight. Have you put on some weight? Oh, yeah, I put on like 10 pounds. I'm like 220. So was that a goal that you also wanted to kind of get bigger, stronger? Oh, yeah, for sure. And then just attacking the weight room now that you're fully ready to go, what's that process been like? You know, just getting stronger, you know. Everybody wants to get stronger, so that weight room, you have to really take serious for you to um, really perform on the field. 
Um, obviously, Coach Apple White was down here. You guys are here at a photo shoot, and you could tell you guys have got a cool room, a uh, close room. What's it been like working with him? Coach Apple White is an amazing dude. Ever since he came through the door, he set that example of the Nebraska culture and that how it's supposed to be on and off the field. And I'm just so happy to work with him and have a winning season with him. Seems like he has a balance of being tough on you guys, but also having fun. Uh, how important is that for you know a coach and a leader as a young man looking up to to a guy like that? Yeah, it's very important being you know serious on the field, so we can really take him serious and really buy in. And off the field, when he jokes around, that's also good too because it shows how much he loves us. You were here in the summer last year. This year, you're getting some practice time on the field. What's that going to be like? Being that you get some extra workout time on the field with the coaches. It's really good, you know, um, hands-on learning with the coaches, and it's. it's it's really good just having extra work and buying in with the coaches, all that extra detail all comes out to play in the fall. What's your approach now uh, before you hit the ground for fall camp? My approach now is just, you know, stay in the playbook, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with just learning more plays. Um, I have to figure it out what, what else I have to do on off the field, and then it was just reflect on the field. Speaking of that, how excited are you for the potential of this offense? Oh, I'm so excited because it's just me. You know, it's what I do. It just fits my play style, and I'm just ready to put it to work. What about Coach Whipple and what he's brought to the offense? Coach Whipple has brought a lot of stuff to the offense. You know, he knows how to score. He knows offensive schemes to put us in the end zone, and I'm just happy to play under him. Uh, as a, it seems like all the playmakers are really excited about there's a potential for a lot of different guys to get involved. How exciting is that? I'm excited because now I, um, the, back, um, the running backs can get um, the balls caught out of the backfield, which is good. So that's really good. How hungry are you at this point, knowing that what you were able to do in the short season and then coming off the injury, how hungry are you? I'm like more hungry than I've ever been before, you know, especially the incident that happened last year. I'm ready to go get it and go get after whatever's mine. And last thing, with the group of running backs you guys got, a lot of different talent, a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things. How important is that? How big is that for a team to have so many guys that, that can go out there and produce? It's definitely big for us because it pushes um, each other. It pushes each other to be the best in the Big Ten, you know. Oh, it's, all, it's good to have running backs. That's your, your um, good attribute around um, Nebraska. So that's really good. It's going to be really good. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Again, Gabe told me before we started recording that interview that he's 100% released, can do it all, and good to go. And so he'll be able to go, be a full go come fall camp. But um, there's competition, going to be competition in that room. And Coach Applewhite, that's what he said that he wants. He wants them to compete. And it's not just about running the football. you got to do a lot of different things. you got to be able to pass protect in this offense. And so it's not going to be just the running back that is carrying the ball well. you got to be doing it all well. You said it last night. It's hard to argue that that room room is about as interesting as any position group on this team. Guys like him, Anthony Grant, who did some pretty good things in the spring game. Romero, we saw do good things last year, and Jock Kent, uh, so I think, has a role on this team. There are options there for Coach Applewhite. Well, yeah, and then you heard Gabe talking about the opportunity for them to catch the ball out of the backfield, which we saw Romero do a little bit of, but if, you know, getting those other guys involved in that, and, you know, again, there's just so many different elements to it, and the more that they can bring to the table the better that it's going to help this offense and you never know you know with the offensive line and new center and shuffling people around the running backs are probably going to have, have to help in that area so uh, again a lot of different things that they're going to need to do well to be able to earn the right to start or have the most playing time and there's going to be a lot of guys competing for that and that only Breed success. Iron sharpens iron. He mentioned, too, quarterback under center more, which we didn't really see that in the spring game, but we've heard enough guys mention it that you got to feel like we're going to see Casey Thompson, Chubba Purdy, whoever, Logan Smothers, whoever it's going to be, under center more than we've seen in the past. And I like that. I yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, I think we've heard how many times have we heard Jeremiah say it, you know, mm -hmm. how big that would be for this, you know, when you're talking about goal line situations and Short having yardage. a quarterback yep. being comfortable in that you know, in that kind of situation. So, yeah, I mean, there's definitely, as I know people were upset that they didn't get to see as much at the spring game, but I think just hearing the conversations that I've been able to have over the last few days with these offensive players about being able to dive into the mind of Coach Whipple and how he's an offensive genius and the wrinkles that he's going to be able to throw into the into the mix i think there's going to be a lot of exciting things and a lot of things we haven't seen in a while and a lot of things to keep defenses off balance gabe's an impressive kid uh one he's just very mature for being just a sophomore redshirt freshman whatever you want to classify him there 
and he just has that frame that you're like, that's a really impressive frame for a running back at this level. Yeah, and he looks way bigger. I know yeah. Yeah, I know it was just 10 pounds from last year, but he looks way bigger to me than he did a year ago. And that whole group, and then you, you throw Yant and um, – Ramir and, and Anthony Grant, a little bit of the, the smaller of the two, but Gabe and Yant, those two guys are some, some big running backs. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he, you could tell he is really, he was holding back a little bit in the interview before, then before when we were talking to him before we started recruiting or uh, recording, but he's hungry. He's ready to go. And, um, you know, after a long wait, you, you get a taste of it and you start to get a fill and then you go down and then you put in the work. And I've said it before, coming back, that ACL rehab is a grind and it's hard. And so then when you get to the point that, hey, you're, you're ready to be let loose, I mean, you could tell he's really, really ready to go. You got to have depth. That's a position. Those guys take a lot of pounding, and so you need some depth. So you sit there and go, "Well, we have too many." No, 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 no. It's like pitching in baseball. You can't have too many of those guys because it's such a physical game. And anytime they get the, their hands on a football, there's multiple people attacking them to bring them to the ground. Who knows? Coach Football, he probably will put two of them on the field at some times. You Absolutely, know? You never know. Yeah, good stuff there with Gabe Urban. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question. Or you can fire off a text if you have some thoughts about the running back position. What do you think? What do you think about Gabe Urban, Anthony Grant, Ramir Johnson? Tell me if you're excited about that group. Nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig always. Call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. We're back with more Sports Nightly coming up. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Autocorrect. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser-Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. The 2022 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need you in Memorial Stadium this fall. A customizable Husker football three-game mini plan is on sale now for only $180. To purchase your 2022 Husker football three-game mini plan today, or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Go Big Red. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. The Nebraska FFA is growing leaders and building communities. Together, we are strengthening agriculture. The Nebraska FFA Foundation believes in our future leaders and the communities they serve. We believe in the future of agriculture. Join us in the I Believe in the Future of Ag campaign. Learn more at neffafoundation.org. Brought to you by Chief Industries. Trusted, tested, true. And Country Partners Cooperative. Together, we can. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. 
Go Big Red. Hi, I'm Nebraska Pick 3. I'm my day. I'm 2 by 2 We're three great lotto games from the Nebraska Lottery. And this is our first radio spot ever. But we've only got 30 seconds, so we got to talk fast. With Nebraska Pick 3, you get to choose your own bet type. With my day, you choose a six-digit date. And 2 by 2 has a $22,000 top prize. And, and we're, we're all just $1, $1 per play, play with drawings every, every day. day. That was easy. And we did great. With eight seconds to spare. We should be doing all the lottery's ads. <clears throat> Sorry, that gig is already taken. Must be 19, please play responsibly. Hey, Huskers fans. Tomorrow on Sports Nightly, we'll have another encore show featuring our favorite Sports Nightly content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. In Hour 1 Friday, we'll hear from new Huskers football pass rusher O'Shawn Mathis, new men's basketball assistant coach Adam Howard, and Huskers linebacker Luke Reimer. Joining us in Hour 2, new football admin Vince Ginta, Huskers QB Casey Thompson, and punter Brian Buschini. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Hum. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Ann Ezer Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of bear plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Thursday night, 402-413-2400. The number to dial us up with a comment or question, or if you want to fire off a text, you can do that about any of the topics of the day. We talked to Gabe Irvin in the last segment, Husker football uh, they're all on campus now. Even all the newbies arrived this past week. They're in the first full week. It's been fun to watch so not only football, but some of the other sports. Young people walking around the stadium kind of getting lost, going down the wrong hallway, trying to do that thing. And first week on campus can be a little scary, a little intimidating for people. Yeah, it can. I mean, I remember it took me like two months to figure this place <laughs> out. So I can only imagine trying to get to places where you got to – be on time, like tutoring session and all that. So, yeah, no, um, you know, I got a chance to talk to a lot of players that are new that hadn't, I haven't talked to before, and I'm excited to keep bringing those interviews to you. But I got to tell you, I was really, really impressed with Omar Brown today. Young man from Northern Iowa, yeah. defensive back. He was injured quite a bit during the spring. Didn't get to do a lot. Yeah, but he's, he's again, he's fully healthy. Uh, and there's another, who else was hurt that missed that I talked to that, again, filling, um, Chancellor Brewington. So I think, you know, again, this team getting healthy as they start these summer workouts. And it's just, um, it, it was a fun vibe. And, I, you know, Andrew and I were talking today while we were waiting for interviews. It's just, um, it's a different, you know, not knocking last year because they believe that they could win. But there's just a different air about it. You know, there's some guys that are coming in that are new to the program that have been used to winning or believe they can win and you know just just a little bit of a confidence and you know the buzz which you know that's a word we've used a lot but um, these guys are hungry and they're motivated and I know it's talking season and I know we get sick of the talk and we want to see it done but I like the approach and the attitude and the take uh, you know how they're going about their business right now I think some of the buzz is the new energy and you mentioned coach Applewhite coach Joseph Coach Whipple, Coach Bush, I think their energy has changed some dynamics in the building. I think they bring it to them. And then the 15 transfers into the program, that's a pretty big load you've added to the group. But I think those coaches have really injected a lot of energy into the staff. Yeah, and, and it just seems like all the players love their coaches that they're playing for. You know, I mean, just... Rayola, I should mention him too. Yeah, I mean, just... 
just seeing the running backs interact with Applewhite and, you know, hearing uh, Cheva Purdy talk about Coach Whipple and even Trey, Trey Palmer the other day talked about Coach Whipple mm -hmm. and, and how much he enjoys him. And, and then, of course, we've all heard about Mickey Joseph and the offensive lineman loving Rayola and, and then the special teams. How could you not? Everybody loves Coach Bush. I'd play for Coach Bush. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's absolutely this new... Uh, energy and and that you can feel when you are around the players and around that that part of the building that um, they're excited to, to every time they step in that building into the building they're so excited to be there and that to me is what's fun to see it's so different because the offense has so many changes and the defense because they didn't change any coaches they've got new personnel that they're trying to inject into that thing but you feel like that culture is kind of in place on that side of the ball right now. Yeah, and I think those players that were here and were a part of it saw what worked last year, and they want to make sure, not that you want to do the same thing, but the things that worked, they want to bring that back. And, and a name that I heard a lot, that I've heard a lot, unsolicited, was Garrett Nelson. I think Garrett Nelson has really stepped mm -hmm. into a leadership role for this defense, and it means a lot to him. And him taking a lot away from those leaders a year ago and trying to implement and instill some of those qualities and those traits that worked well in the locker room for that for the black shirts last year, trying to carry that over and instill that into some of the new guys. Well, you talked to Miles Farmer last night, and he's one of those guys that played quite a bit last year, but he knows this is what we expect, so he's trying to pass that on to the newbies. Yeah, I mean, it's it's every group. I know there's, there's a lot of new... Uh, you know, especially in the secondary, but every group has at least a guy or two that's played a lot of football mm -hmm. for the defense that know the standard and want to keep growing and getting that better. But also, you know, the, there's no deni there's no denying that the defense was a strength of this football team a year ago, and they did a lot of good things that they want to build off of, and and the things that they did well, they want to make sure that you know they're building off of and and bringing that in and and instilling that and not losing that culture that work so well because I mean you know and, and Jeremiah said it time and time again it's not like this is the most talented defense the, with the most talented players but the way they play together is really what what you know takes them to another level and so trying to that part of it make sure that that is carried over into this season. Buckle up, put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. 402-413-2400. The number to dot us up with a comment or question. Or if you want to fire off a text, you can do that as well. We're back to wrap up Hour 1 next. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good, now smile. Oh. Honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and Bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Congratulations. You're having a little girl. At that moment, everything changed. Our hopes and dreams for ourselves were instantly replaced by our hopes and dreams for her. We got life insurance policies from Shelter Insurance so that regardless of what life throws at us, we'll still be able to provide the world to her. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See Shelter Agents Tanya Blaine or Jesse Dunbar in Norfolk or Agent Bud Morell in Ogallala. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the F&BO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from F&BO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. 402-413-2400. The number to dot us up with a comment or question. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Hour number one of our Thursday night show. Coming up next hour, Jeannie Sutherland, who is the new women's golf coach, going to join us talk about her vision for the program moving forward. We'll also play a snippet of the new podcast, Kicking Back with the Cooks. Another episode ready to come out with John Cook and Lauren Cook. Those are always fun to listen to. We'll see what's on their mind. I'll, we'll give you a snippet of that uh, full podcast coming up in hour number two. Always entertaining. And no horses involved in this one. No horses. No horse. But I'm sure they got some great nuggets. By the way, um, Jordy Ball, the Papillion Nebraska product, didn't start tonight in the Women's College World Series game, too. She gave up a couple runs to UCLA the other day when she hadn't really pitched hardly. Well, I think she'd thrown one batter or something earlier in the, in the CWS, but she hurt an arm back in early May, sat out for more than a month, and they, apparently they're having problems with the mound. It's too wet. So they're bringing out some drying compound. So this is fun to see. Freshman could potentially be the, um, you know, winning pitcher of the World Series. We'll see. Sure could. You, uh, I mentioned earlier, you had a chance to talk to Coach Ravel today. You're working on a series of reports about the 50th anniversary of Title IX. This is the month of June is when it got launched 50 years ago. This is a this is a landmark spot in the in the history of sports. Yeah, and just look at that. Look at the shot that you know we're looking at right now with the double decker seating and. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere that's been able to be built. And Coach Ravel played in the very first Women's College World that? Series back in 1982. Yeah, they came in studio, her and Coach Sipple, Lori Sipple. And I thought I'd talk to them for like 20 minutes, but uh, 45 minutes later, we had a, a great conversation talking about the growth and, and how they got into the sport and where it was when they were players and then became coaches and. and you know how much the game has grown to where it is today and and how popular it is and um i mean look we're watching it on espn there was a time where that was unfathomable unfathomable that women's softball would be on espn so i mean maddie burkhart told the story about she was in a, a lengthy at the women's college world series they were in a extra innings and it was never ending and something happened where a game that they were on before ended and so they moved the Nebraska game, whoever they were playing, over. And she said she remembers people coming down to the dugout. You're on the mothership. You're on the mothership. <laughs> and they didn't even know what that meant at the time. And then they found out that they were on ESPN and remembering how big of a deal that was. And that was, what, 2014? 14. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and then now look at it. It's eight years later, and we had a game on, ES on ABC. And so, yeah, uh, again, just a, a lot of that conversation was had with Coach Ravel and, and Coach Sipple, how, it, how it's grown to where it is. But, you know, Title IX, 50 years uh, celebrating that. And, and we're going to talk to a lot of instrumental women from Nebraska athletics that help lay a foundation and also help, you know, grow the sports here in Lincoln. And, and not just this month. This is going to be oh, a Oh, yeah, it's year. a year-long celebration. Right. There's a lot of events that are going to be, uh, you know, surrounding this throughout the entire year at football games. There's a lot of fun events being planned. There's been a committee working on a lot of fun events for a while now. So we'll keep bringing that information to you. But we'll, we'll be releasing the first episode of the Title IX podcast series next week. Very good. Look forward to that. Hey, our Sports Highly Hotline, open and available for you. It's brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying. 
and save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. One hour in the books. We're going to talk some women's golf. A new head coach for the Oscars on the women's side in golf, Jeannie Sutherland. She's coming up on the other side. Don't go away. Come on back. Have some fun with us here in hour number two. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There is no place like Nebraska and there's no place that treats you like home like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Shop Woodhouse Ford first and experience the difference. The all-new 2022 Bronco Sport is built wild for the thrill seeker, the sightseer, and the day tripper a capable and dependable SUV that's ready to tackle the dirt, dust, and mud. Bronco Sport offers four models to match the way you explore the outdoors. Shop, finance, and buy your way. Online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford locations in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmith. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're gonna have to deal with some hail. JTech Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTech Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTech Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTech Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. As the Huskers head to the seventh inning stretch, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call or visit SOSHVAC.com today. SOS to the rescue.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Congratulations are in order for Nebraska softball coach Rhonda Ravel and her associate head coach Lori Sippel and assistant coach Diane Miller who were named the Midwest Regional Staff of the Year by the National Fast Pitch Coaches Association today. The Huskers won their first Big Ten tournament title this season and secured their eighth 40th win season, at 40 win season, excuse me, in program history on their way to an NCAA regional appearance. The outdoor NCAA track and field championships continue today, and the Huskers are busy. But first, we recap yesterday's men's action. Alex Talley kicked things off for Nebraska, finishing sixth in the hammer throw with his best hoss, measuring 234 feet and 8 inches, making All-American. Darius Luff received honorable mention after finishing 17th in the 110-meter hurdles with a time of 13.74. Jurgen Lambrex Jr. earned his first, uh, excuse me, his fifth career All-American honor, earning a second-team spot after a 15th placed finish in the shot put. His best throw of the night was 62 feet and 8 inches. Maxwell Utterdahl finished just three places behind Lambrex, earning honorable mention with a best throw of 61 feet and 8 and a half inches. Tonight, it's the women's turn for track and field as Maddie Harris and Murda Kulisic will compete in the women's javelin event at 8.45 p.m., followed by Laquatia Stepney in the long jump at 9 p.m. Wrapping up Thursday's events will be Axelina Johansson in the shot put at 9.40 Three Huskers alumni also made headlines today between tonight and uh, excuse me tonight and yesterday. Former Huskers wrestler Jordan Burroughs won a, the uh, final 10 series last night, beating Chance Marsteller in three rounds to secure his 11th World or Olympic Team roster spot for Team USA. He'll compete at the 2022 Senior World Championships on September 10th, which will go all the way through September 18th. He'll have a chance to take on the sole possession of the freestyle title record, which he currently shares with wrestler John Smith. Former Huskers bowler Liz Kulkin won the Professional Women's Bowling Association Long Island Classic today, so congrats to Liz. And lastly, former, Huskers Jack, uh, former Husker Jack McBay was named to Australia's senior national team to represent his home country in the FIBA World, uh, Basketball World Cup qualifiers taking place later this month from June 30th through July 1st. Elsewhere in college sports, game two of the softball college World Series championship final is underway. Texas has added two runs in the first inning, and they're up 2-0. They need to win tonight to keep the series going. If Oklahoma wins, they are the World Series champs. And the MLB currently in action. The Twins are up on the Yankees early. Garrett Cole gives up three runs before he gets an out. The Marlins are up 3-0 over the Nationals in the fifth. The A's lead the Guardians 2-0. That one's in the fourth. Mid-third, it's the Braves leading the Pirates 1-0. Some finals from earlier today. 5-4, Diamondbacks beat the Reds. 2-1, Rays beat the Cardinals. 11-9, Dodgers beat the White Sox. 8-3, Phillies top the Brewers. 4-2, Rockies bested the Giants. And then later tonight, we'll see the Orioles and Royals at 7-10. The Red Sox will play the Angels at 8-38. And in about five minutes' time in the NHL, it will be the Eastern Conference Finals game five as the New York Rangers look to fend off the Tampa Bay Lightning. That series tied at two per side. Uh, it is the Rangers looking to snap a two game losing skid at home as they try to take a 3 2 series lead. Again, uh, puck dropping that one is at 7 10 p.m. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. The third and goal to one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! All right, ball's inside the one for Nebraska. First and goal. Ramir in the back. Adrian gets the shotgun snap, hands it off to Ramir. Left side, touchdown, Nebraska. And the Huskers back to it in six points. Snap back, play action. Taking a shot, throw and pass caught by Manning at the 10. Alludes a bottom maker to the five. One more Manning dive. Touchdown, Nebraska. Snap back, play action. Step throws, ball deflected up in the air, intercepted, picked off. Rumbling down the sideline is Luke Reimer inside the five. He's inside the one, out of bounds around the two. Luke Reimer with a terrific INT. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. 
And we're back, hour number two, Sports Island here on a Thursday night. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. Thank you so much for spending some of your Thursday night with us. Coming up here in a few minutes, we're going to talk about Husker women's golf. New head coach Jeannie Sutherland is going to join us here in just a moment to talk about her vision moving with the program forward. And later on in the hour, the latest edition of the Kicking Back with the Cooks podcast. John Cook, daughter Lauren Cook, who's our analyst here on the network, uh, their latest rendition of kicking back with the Cooks coming up here in just a little bit. Can't wait to see what they have uh, ready for us to listen to here this month. But let's talk some Husker golf. A few weeks ago, Coach Sutherland, who was on staff, who was the associate head coach this past year for Coach Johnson, will take over the reins uh, and has taken over the reins of Nebraska's women's golf program. Joining us now here tonight. Coach, thank you for spending some time with us tonight. Congratulations. This is cool. Thank you. It is pretty cool. I'm excited. You uh, you came to Lincoln what last summer, but you've got some roots in the Upper Midwest, right? You spent some time in this part of the country. I have. My family is all in Omaha. I grew up in Dubuque, Iowa, and um, a lot of my relatives were on the western side of the state. And my immediate family all moved over, so uh, I was coming back to be close to home. So you not only are a successful golf coach, but you were a very successful player. That's how you got started. How did you even get into golf uh, growing up? You know, uh, I was really lucky. I had a math teacher who talked me into going out for the team. So I played a bunch of other sports, and I wasn't going to run track in the spring. And he said, well, if you're not going to run track, play golf. And so I had never played golf, so it was pretty uh, – it was a pretty brutal year, if you can imagine, being on a team and not being able to break 100. But I got better. Who were some people that kind of influenced you once you took up the sport? Where did you learn some of this background? Who, let's give some shout-outs to some people that maybe helped you uh, learn this as a, as a, of the sport and an eventual profession for you. Yeah, I've been really lucky to be around great people. I, I um one of my first jobs in the business was at Vell Golf Club, and I worked for a pro named Steve Satterstrom, and he just he let me teach all I wanted to teach. And then I went and worked for John Jacobs Golf Schools in the winter um, and learned a lot there. I saw 100 swings a week, so, you know, you're going to learn, and you're going to learn how to teach. And then when I got to Texas A&M, I um, started hanging around with some really great pros. I, I got to be really close friends with Dick Harmon and – Charlie Epps and um, and would go down to Houston a lot and got to sit in on lessons that Jackie Burke gave or Steve Elkington had and it was just a really fun time down there and I learned a lot. So you were here last season as an assistant but now as you move into the head coach's role and you've built successful programs before what's your uh, first step your first mission I guess that you take on? Uh, well Recruiting. Uh, I just got back last night from Denver, um, watching a, a AJGA. We're 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 trying to get a, a couple local kids, um, you know, signed, uh, and then we're going to start looking at kids from all over the country, also. So, um, yeah, recruiting is always the first thing that you have to jump into because it's it's the most important part of the job. What do you look for in those recruits? Well, scoring is number one, you know, and in the Big Ten, I think power is important. We don't play too many short courses. Um, and I like composure. I like players that play composed and, and are able to be resilient if they make a mistake because it's golf and you're going to make mistakes. You spent your time at, at both SMU and, and A&M. You know, you talked about now converting to the Big Ten conference. The... the you're playing probably some different courses now than, than you coached at when you were down in Texas at those two schools. What other adjustments did you notice in the past 12 months being a part of Nebraska and in the Big Ten? Well, you have to know how to play the wind here. Like, we thought it was windy in, Nebraska, in uh, Texas, but it's not, it's not as windy as it is here. Um, and you have to be a little tougher with the weather. You have to get out on, on really bad weather days where, you know, in Texas you could – you could kind of skip a few days and, you know, and still have plenty of warm weather. So I think our players are a lot more tough. Um, and I think they're a lot better win players than what I've had. So um, it's nice to see. And I think that 
that enables you to compete with anybody anywhere at any time. So it's, it's a good thing. How big an adjustment, Coach, was it for travel, too? I mean, you guys have to basically go south to get most of your tournaments in. That, that takes its toll on the body, too, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't matter where you're coaching. You're going to be traveling a lot. Um, and I, I've actually picked up a couple of tournaments now in the spring that we had on our schedule when I was at SMU. So um, I'll know those golf courses well, and we'll get back down to Texas and Arizona. And, uh, you know, it's it's not that different. Um, if you want the best schedule, y you have to go play the best teams. So um, we're going to try and make our schedule a little stronger every year that I'm here. You just hired your new assistant, Matt. Is it Zedrick or Zedrick? It's Zedrick. Zedrick, yeah. tell us about him. Well, I've known Matt for 10 years. Uh, I first met him when he was the assistant at Marshall when I was first at SMU, and his head coach had two babies in two years. So he basically um, ran the program, and I was very impressed because he was quite young then. And um, we stayed in touch, and I've mentored him over the years. And he went to uh, Purdue Fort Wayne and was the head coach there for six years and decided that he wanted to get back into really competitive women's golf. So he jumped up to UT Chattanooga as their assistant last year. And so I asked permission of them if I could talk to him and, and they granted it. So we hired him here. Again, busy with Jeannie Sutherland, the newly named head coach for the Cornhuskers women's golf program. The weather is difficult here. Where can you hit? For people that aren't familiar much with your program, where can you go hit in the cold months here as you get ready for the spring seasons? Well, we're really lucky that we have um, great facilities out at Wilderness Ridge. Um, they have five heated bays and a great big putting room for us. And then we have some great places on campus, too. We, um, we have two TrackMan rooms, and we're also uh, in the process of building um, – a putting room for us so yeah we have pretty good stuff really you you had talked about the recruiting and the new players you're looking at to bring in can you tell us a little bit about some of the players that will be coming back that you'll be working with oh yeah um our our roster next year is going to be pretty strong we have um two seniors coming back for us who both averaged uh in the top three last year megan whitaker who's who just won the Nebraska match play. Um, she is from uh, Elkhorn. And then we have Vanessa Bouvet, who is from France. Um, and we hope to get her back. She's, uh, she's back home right now. Um, our juniors are, um, we have Lindsay uh, Teal. She's from just up the road at Wahoo. She's a great athlete and a great player for us. Uh, and we have uh, Mishka Vavrova and she, is a great player also. She just finished 12th in, a, um, in an access tour event over in Europe, which is the same as our Epson tour here. It's just under the LPGA. Um, so she's playing really good golf for us. Um, we have some really talented freshmen coming in. We have one young lady named Kelly Ann Strand from Idaho, who I think she'll jump right in the lineup. She can really hit it. Um, she's as long as anybody in the country. So it'll be fun to coach her. Uh, we have a German kid that's coming in that I haven't ever seen play, but she's an excellent player too. Her name's Sydney Hartz. So, um, uh, and Ariel Gonzalez is coming in from Mexico. Uh, the other people on the team that I'm forgetting uh, are all really good players. Brooke Bream was a redshirt for us this year from Arizona. She's playing right now at the Porter Cup and doing well. Andrea Velez is from Colombia and was in and out of the lineup last year and is a very good player. Um, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Uh, Lena Hassert is from Germany. She uh, was a freshman for us last year. She's got a little bit of work to do with her scoring, but I think she can get there. She's a good athlete. Um, yeah, we, we have a bunch of really good players. Coach, the, the game is such a global game now. I mean, how, how much more do you feel like particularly young girls, are picking up the sport now than maybe when you first got into coaching? Yeah, it's been really fun to watch. What The big difference is there's always been a lot of good players, but now the, the depth is huge. Like there's, you know, like I can go to an AJGA and watch 10 kids that are really good. And I remember back when I started, there might be one or two in a tournament of that size. So 
there's a lot more depth. There's a lot more competition. Um, there's a lot more opportunities for young ladies to play. The instruction's much better. Um, the expectations for girls golf is much higher or are much higher. So, you know, I, I'm really excited about the direction our sport is going and the direction that women's athletics is going. So it's, it's fun for me, you know, to have been in this business for 35 years to see how far it's come. Yeah, I mean, perfect segue, because I was going to ask you, I had Coach Ravel in here earlier, and uh, another coach that has done this a long time, and, and as we start, start celebrating the 50-year anniversary of Title IX, what has it been like to be a part of the growth and the explosion of all of women's sports, uh, you know, over the last 50 years? Yeah, it's been, it's been really fun. I mean, you know, I, I, I would still say we need to fight harder. I'd like to see the LPGA purses be close to the PGA. Um, you know, there's still a lot of work to be done, but honestly, there's so many ways to make a great living in women's athletics right now. And that makes me really happy because not only are we competing hard when we're in high school and college, but then we have opportunities to stay in the sport that we love afterwards. And it, it's been wonderful for me. I've really enjoyed my career and, and what I've gotten to do. So yeah, it's it's pretty neat. I got one more for you. Okay, we got a lot of golfers, I'm sure, that are listening in that might be headed out to the course. You got some a little quick maybe lesson you could tell us or what we need to <laughs> – a, a pup talk or something we could – what's your number one uh, piece of advice you give golfers when they head out to the course? <laughs> well, I, I would say that work on your putting more and <laughs> work on your chipping more and uh, – and, um, Play from the front tees if you're not scoring very well. But, but don't, don't go to the tips. Greg? Good advice. Coach, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you. And Coach Johnson did a nice job of kind of elevating the program, and I know you're going to do great things in your days ahead as well. We'll keep track of your progress. Thank you. Coach Sutherland joining us here on Sports Nightly. She was with us on our Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. It's truly a global game. She talked about members of the roster from Germany and Mexico and Nebraska and Idaho and Arizona. I mean, it's truly a global sport. It really is, and... You know, I mean, we've seen it grow on the men's side and, and all the different um, pros that have come in and, and competed on the PGA level, and it's uh, transitioned into the women's game. And, and not all women's sports are global, but golf is definitely it one is. of those sports that there are a lot of players that come from overseas that get to come over here and compete for the United States and play collegiately. I know you're headed off to play some golf with your dad here in a week or so. I know you'll probably be playing from the tips, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No. I do not play from the tips. No, I do not, I do not I, have I, that kind of a no, game. No, I play from the ladies' tees. That's yeah. the advantage, and that's, that's, why I'm a, that's why I'm a good scramble partner because You get that advantage. sometimes 40, 50 yards yes. from the guys who have to hit from the back. I do not hit from the back tees either. Don't do that. All right, 402-413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question. We'll jump more into the show, including playing you a bit of the newest episode of Kicking Back with the Cooks. That's coming up next. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. 
We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Hey, Huskers fans. Tomorrow on Sports Nightly, we'll have another encore show featuring our favorite Sports Nightly content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. In Hour 1 Friday, we'll hear from new Huskers football pass rusher O'Shawn Mathis, new men's basketball assistant coach Adam Howard, and Huskers linebacker Luke Reimer. Joining us in Hour 2, new football admin Vince Guinta, Huskers QB Casey Thompson, and punter Brian Buschini. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. MERS Farm Equipment in Falls City, Nebraska. www.mersfarmequipment.com when you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? Well, even longer term than your first ride on the Gravitron at the county fair. And even longer term than the line to buy the corn dog you definitely shouldn't have eaten before you got on the Gravitron. Oof, so long-term. Hi, it's Nick Luxinger from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-740-6445 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie back with you here on a Thursday night. You've been in the driving range a little bit here the last couple of days, haven't you? I haven't been. Um, I need to go this week because I told my dad I'd be ready to go. So I got a week out from Saturday from a big tournament. So. Have, you, have you peaked at Monday's forecast, by the way? Is it bad? 102. 102, wow. Monday. Wow. All I know is that I was had, had zero allergy problems a now year ago do. when I moved here. And now, now all of a sudden, my allergies are completely out of whack. Yeah, I think a lot of people are struggling this week with, with allergies. Uh, hey, we all love the Kicking Back with the Cooks podcast. The last one was Coach Cook and his director of ops, Lindsey Peterson, riding horses. Well, now it's back to the traditional 
John being interviewed by his daughter, Lauren, who is our own Huskers Radio Network color analyst for volleyball. Let's give you a sneak peek of the latest edition, which will drop in its full form in a couple of days. You, you did just get Caitlin Horde, and she hasn't been here all semester. She's finally on campus. Uh, is she settling in? Have you chatted with her? How is she, how is she doing in her few, first few weeks as a Husker? Yeah, she just got here a week ago, uh, started summer school, started working out. Uh, you remember, she didn't, do, she didn't have a spring season because she wasn't allowed to train with uh, Penn State. Um, so she's starting from square one, like a true freshman coming in. And, um, but she got moved in, her dad brought her out, uh, got moved in her apartment, and, and that's really good. And uh, so I think she's really fired up. She's really happy. She wants to go to work. And that's, that's what you want to see in players is they, they, they're just, you know, uh, another horse cowboy saying, chomping at the bit to get going. And uh, so I think she's really excited, and she's in a leadership class. That uh, is, a, is a pre-session class you enrolled in that is a lot of fun. It's, I, I, I can't remember, Lauren, if you took that class. I think I did. you did. Yeah, so she got in that class to start off her master's program, and you know that's a great class to start off in and get some leadership. But uh, you know that's, that's another transfer that you know, I think makes more sense. I mean, you know, Coach Rose retired. They have a you know, half their team leaves. Uh, so uh, you know, she was looking for, okay, maybe I, I need to look at something else, and, and we're really happy. She, she's an awesome young lady and uh, uh, really excited to, to be able to start working with her. Everything that transpired with Penn State over the last few months reminds me of what happened back in 2009 when I left UCLA. It was, you know, a coach who had been there forever stepped down, a bunch of players transferred, and uh, they just kind of started over from scratch. So uh, I, I don't know if you see it too, but just a, I see some similarities in, in that UCLA program then and the, and the Penn State program now. I, I think definitely it's very similar. And... Uh... You know, we got a. Uh, there's going to be a lot more coaches getting out and retiring here. You know, this the older generation, and and uh, you know, you got. I think, you know, it was one of the great things when when Coach Pettit left Nebraska. I mean, he had a plan. You know, with me coming in, and we had a plan. We coached together that last year, and there was a great transition. You know, help us have one of the greatest teams ever in 2000, went undefeated and won the national championship. So, um, I think. I think it's really, really important that uh, in, in this day and age, it's getting harder and harder with the portal and the transfers and recruiting and all that stuff. So it's important that uh, we always have a great plan and, and we're, we're working to keep you know, our program the best it possibly can be. And yeah, it's, it's unfortunate when you see careers end like that and with that kind of turnover. So player we didn't see in the red-white scrimmage. I think she maybe came in for one or two points, but uh, Kennedy Orr uh, didn't see her in the red-white. I think a lot of people, or not the red-white, this the spring match. I keep calling it the red-white scrimmage, but it yeah. was the spring match versus Kansas. Uh, I, I think I call it red-white because football does a red-white scrimmage in the spring. But anyways, I think a lot of fans were expecting to see Kennedy Orr. You, you guys have talked about it a lot, your entire coaching staff, about how she has the keys to the program now. Uh, she's going to be taking over for Nicklin. Nicklin's moving to a different position, but uh, Nicklin was playing on Saturday, and I know part of that had to do with uh, Kennedy, the, the knee scope that she received back in March. She missed part of your sand season, part of the first part of the indoor spring season. Uh, how's she doing? Any updates on her? Will we be seeing her in the fall? Uh, what can you fill us in with there? Well, right now she's preparing her speech for her sister getting married. She has to give the, uh, you know, the speech. Bree? Uh, yeah, Bree's, Bree's getting, married getting married this, this weekend. Wow. So, uh, I know Kenny's excited about that, but uh, yeah, the she got set back in the spring and missed missed a bunch of training time, and so I she, I don't I didn't think she was quite ready to go play a whole match. And um, just because she hadn't had the training time because she was out for a while. So I, I, did, I was trying to be really cautious with her. And so for her right now, if she, if she can stay healthy, she has the keys 
to the program, as you just mentioned. And so this summer will be really important for her. So it was kind of like, do you want to take a chance, throw her out there? You know, what if something happens if she's not 100% yet? And, or close, just, you know, um, not have her play very much in that match. I wanted to get her in a little bit more, but all those games we won, it's just like we won in this big run at the end there. It was We went really fast. So uh, the summer will be key for her. She's got to be in the gym every day. She's got to really work hard and, um, and, and re recondition herself to get ready to go through a, a long fall season. And she did it last year with training. She wasn't playing every match, but... She knows she can do it, but she just had a setback, which sometimes happens, and that's why they go in and clean it up and fix, you know, fix it up. And a lot of pro athletes go through this, and so it's just kind of, it's you know nothing, you know, uh, nothing out of the ordinary. It's just the timing wasn't great. Well, she was in good hands with Dr. Duga uh, for that surgery. He's still your team ortho, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Dr. Duga. He does. He's 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 been around forever, and. He uh, does a great job. Uh, since we're talking about players on your team, I know or I saw on Instagram a post about a few of your players who uh, are going to train or play with the USA national team, represent the, the USA team. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, this week, uh, Lexi Rodriguez, Becca Alec, uh, both go to the USA junior national team. And they start training down in Louisiana, where our USA, the big girl national team, is actually going to play the first uh, VNL matches next week or the week after. I can't remember. Um, and then from there, they're going to go to Cabo San Lucas. So that is a trip that I'm very interested in going to recruit <laughs> so I can work on my Spanish. Uh, but there's a what's called the Norseka tournament down there, and it's a qualifier for the World Championships. Uh, so they're going to take that team down there and play. And uh, so those are those are those two. The next group, uh, well, then Caitlin Hoare is going to go out and train with the USA team in June, and that's with again the, all the college players come out and get together for a week and train. So she's going to do that. We have so many players doing stuff this summer. It's it's gonna be pretty cool to follow them. A lot, a lot of them are playing in you know USA teams and, and these other teams and they're they're really good club teams. So there's gonna be some really good volleyball this summer uh, for Huskers and future Huskers and uh, it'll be fun to watch them and follow them. Is there any negatives to that because maybe they're not at every single voluntary summer conditioning workout or. Uh, around the team all summer. I know you do a lot of team building activities. So are, are there any negatives to having those players away and not in Lincoln for the summer? If, if our team wasn't so uh, tight already um, and so close, I would be worried about that. Of course, Maggie has to integrate in, and she's going to come in and start with basketball in June, and then this will be great because she'll get to play volleyball and kind of you know, recalibrate for volleyball. She goes into our two days, and she's somebody that you know, but you know, potentially could play as a freshman. So, uh, I think she's got a great plan for the summer. And Becca and Lexi uh, also have a great plan. It's early. Uh, they've uh, actually been working out um, and um, to prepare for this. So they'll go. We'll just have to make sure we give them a break, and then um, we'll, they'll miss out on a little bit of stuff. But uh, I, I, you know, again, our, our team's in a in a good spot where. We have a great foundation laid, so it'll be easy for them to, you know, come back in when they get back from Cabo San Lucas, you know, unless they decide they're just going to stay down there and go to, go to college in Cabo San Lucas. Uh, yeah. you know, if I go down there, I might just decide, yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. I'll just stay here. <laughs> Never been to Cabo. You been to Cabo? I have been to Cabo. Here it's nice. Yeah. I would be nervous if I'm John Cook, with their season starting in August, to have all these girls playing, and you love the fact that they're getting a chance to play for the, the USA and on these elite teams, but I, I would make me nervous if they're going to get hurt, roll an ankle, do that. I mean, I know that could happen in the gym at Devaney and just in a workout, but that would make me nervous. I think it's, it's he's all for it, and the players um, are all for it because it makes them better, you know, going to play uh, competition at the highest level, at the international level, yeah. it, it makes you better. I think Lexi Rodriguez will tell you she played very well in that um, world tournament 
last year leading into, and she was, everyone was talking about that she was going to be a stud even before that, but she played so well in that tournament, and I think she probably carried some momentum and got right into it once she got to play in college volleyball. It probably helped her with the transition. So I think it, it, a little bit like AAU ball, if you go play or, you know, play on elite teams in summer basketball, it only makes you better because you're playing against, you know, elite competition on the international level. So Yeah, just the closeness to the start of the season would be my concern. I mean, because basketball doesn't start till November. You get hurt in July. You get plenty of time to recover an ankle or something. This happens in June or whatever. It's a pretty quick turnaround. Also, though, but, probably, and to his point that he's spoken about, he doesn't get to work out with them in the summer that's either. That's true. <laughs> that's right. You know. So this is just, yeah, that's exactly right. They so it's not like they can, that's true. he can see them and evaluate yeah. them here if they stay here. They would just be playing inter-squad stuff mm -hmm. by themselves. Good point. Hey, buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We need to get to a break. Uh, our phone lines, text lines are open and available for you, 402-413-2400. We're back with more of the show next. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Hi, I'm Nebraska Pick 3. I'm my day. I'm 2 by 2 We're three great lotto games from the Nebraska Lottery. And this is our first radio spot ever. But we've only got 30 seconds. So we gotta talk fast. With Nebraska Pick 3, you get to choose your own bet type. With my day, you choose a six-digit date. And 2 by 2 has a $22,000 top prize. And, and we're, we're all just $1, $1 per play, play with, with drawings every day. day. That was easy. And we did great. With eight seconds to spare. We should be doing all the lottery's ads. <clears throat> Sorry, that gig is already taken. Must be 19, please play responsibly. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the field, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow green marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance, you just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Huskers fans. Tomorrow on Sports Nightly, we'll have another encore show featuring our favorite Sports Nightly content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. In Hour 1 Friday, we'll hear from new Huskers football pass rusher O'Shawn Mathis, new men's basketball assistant coach Adam Howard, and Huskers linebacker Luke Reimer. Joining us in Hour 2, new football admin Vince Ginta, Huskers QB Casey Thompson, and punter Brian Buschini. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! 
Husker fans. Get ready to be part of the excitement of the 2022-23 Nebraska women's basketball season by joining the season ticket waitlist today. The Huskers return all five starters from a team that won 24 games and advanced to the 2022 NCAA tournament. Make the first choice on the best seats to watch the Huskers in person at Pinnacle Bank Arena this year. Join the waitlist by July 31st at huskers.com slash request list. Fuel your curiosities and inspire your lifeblood with the first ever Mazda CX-50. Available now at both Woodhouse Mazda locations. The remarkably intuitive standard all-wheel drive Mazda CX-50 is responsive, making the driver's connection to the road natural across a wide variety of driving scenarios. An interior where form and function meet, making the cabin luxurious and durable. See the first ever CX-50 online at WoodhouseMazda.com or in the showroom in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place off 144th and Giles Road. Nothing goes better with Husker sports than Fairberry. Fairberry, premium quality hot dogs deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. The highest quality beef, pork, and natural spices give you the best tasting hot dog and your hometown favorite big red hot dog. Look for Fairberry hot dogs all year long at your local grocery store. Fairberry, the official hot dog of the Huskers and Nebraska fans everywhere. At Great Western Bank, they understand what commitment to community means. It's more than setting up shop. For Great Western Bank, commitment means growing together and serving their communities. With more than 50 locations in Nebraska, they are dedicated to making life great. Thank you, Lincoln, for allowing them to be a part of this great community. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie, back with you on a Thursday night. Sports Highlight here on the Huskers Radio Network, 402-413-2400. Great to hear Coach Cook again. That full podcast will drop in the next couple of days. So wherever you found those in the past, you can find them off of a link of off our Twitter account here at Huskers Radio Network, huskers.com. We'll also have a link up. But you talk about an embarrassment of Richard, rich, riches. Caitlin Horn, now on campus. Maggie Mendelson, now on campus. Kennedy Orr working her way back from some injury situations over the winter. And then everybody else that's back from that team, that, that, that group is loaded. Which Maggie is working out with the basketball team. We ran into uh, Amy Williams today because when we had her in studio last week or so, the newcomers they weren't on campus yet so but she said maggie's doing well and maddie uh maddie also she said the same thing she said when she was getting going through all the process of getting released she's like man there's a lot of testing you got to do here with the napl and all yep. that to get released but she had a great workout this morning it sounds like it's super competitive over there in women's hoops that's good a lot of a lot of new athletes again arrived on campus earlier this week so a lot of them doing that pre-testing that they have to get done before they're clear to do actual workouts with their teams uh, you were around a lot of the football team has been going through their photo shoots today for game programs for uh, big screen tvs when they do the starting lineups and those type of things and you got to meet some of the new casting characters of that group too yes There's, there is some cast of characters in that group uh, a million percent there's some big personalities in those newcomers and uh, they're gonna add a lot of swag that that's i guess that's the word i was looking for earlier it's it's um the swagger that they bring and you know from trey palmer to omar brown um even i didn't get a chance to to talk to him but tommy hill i know he was supposed to come to yeah. the radio studio tommy hill lost. but it wasn't it's not really on the way you know <laughs> they, the the we were off the beaten path yeah yes. the path of the all of the shoots the radio studio was out of the way, and I had a setup on the way, but he was headed up here. But even just the way he carried himself and, you know, a lot of those 
guys bring a lot of swagger, a lot of personality. I think Husker fans are going to enjoy getting to know them because they there's some fun guys in that uh, in that building over there right now. And folks, an opportunity for you to customize a Husker football three game mini plan that's on sale now for only hundred and eighty dollars for a three games this year. You can choose one a month in September. You either pick the North Dakota or Georgia Southern game, October, Indiana or Illinois, and November, either the Wisconsin or Minnesota game. You pick one from a month. Seating located in the north and south end zones. To go do that, build your own plan, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Get huskers.com slash tickets. Hundreds of Husker fans have already taken advantage of it. It's a terrific plan if you don't have the time or resources to maybe have a full season ticket to just get a couple of games and come experience three different Husker football games at the at your convenience. Whatever may work into your schedule for the weekend. Again, huskers.com slash tickets tickets. Time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Our phone lines, text lines are open for you. 402-413-2400. Back to wrap up tonight's show next. Huskers fans, it's time to plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Single game tickets are on sale now at huskers.com forward slash Ireland start the 2022 season in the best way. Plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Buy your single game ticket today at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for all your vehicle needs. With two ways to shop, we make car buying easy. Purchase your new or certified pre-owned vehicle all from the comfort of your own home with available pickup and delivery options. Plus, chat with a sales team member, reserve your vehicle, and complete a credit application online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Or visit our climate-controlled showroom for comfortable shopping year-round. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres Solutions for every field. Final few minutes of our Thursday night show, an encore show coming your way tomorrow night. Some interviews that we've had in the past several months, including... Oshawn Mathis, which if you missed it, it was a terrific one. That was, what, about a week or so ago you had Oshawn on. He yeah, last worth Thursday. the listening. Yeah, he's great. He's um, really impressive, really 
I mean, just sounds already like a pro, but I feel like I was thinking maybe we should do a poll on Twitter, social media of the guys that we got, because we got about 15 interviews mm -hmm. and who people want to hear next. That's not a bad idea. We could do that. O'Shawn tomorrow night, Adam Howard, the new assistant basketball coach. We talked about him with Coach Hoiberg earlier in the week. Came to, has come to Lincoln from Western Kentucky. Luke Reimer, that one's an older one. The Luke Reimer one you did, was that from Cornhusker Conversation? Yes, Cornhusker Conversation. Okay. Yep. Vince Quinta, who is the new director of recruiting for the Huskers on the football side. We had him on a couple of weeks ago. Fascinating fellow to talk to. Really organized. Was here at one point in time when Bill Callahan was the head coach. It's been down at Baylor the last several years. Back to Lincoln. And I know Scott Frost, thrilled to have Vince back on the staff. Casey Thompson, that interview you did from earlier uh, this past year and then Brian Buschini who got the biggest cheer of the spring game when he boomed a punt. Hey in another big weekend this weekend they got uh, recruits coming in they again do. every weekend but they got uh, no Friday Night Lights camps but it's, but the next open one to the public is next next Friday. Friday but they still have a big recruiting they weekend do. so uh, that was part of the buzz too they had the photo shoot going and they were also prepping for recruits so um, yeah it was uh, busy down there as they get set to continue to ho hopefully keep this thing rolling. Got a couple of commits after the first Friday Night Light camp from last week. All right, uh, softball tied up right now, right? 2-2? Two, 2-2. Two? Two, two. Texas or Oklahoma just tied it up, uh, top of the fourth. But also coming up here shortly, we'll have to check in on Nebraska track and field. Perhaps a couple of ladies That's right. competing for some throws mm -hmm. late tonight, although it's not late in Oregon. They're two hours behind us. But an early evening contest out there. I think they might be on the U tonight, ESPNU, if you want to watch some of that from out in Oregon. But Texas competing better tonight than they did last time when they just got slaughtered 16 to 1, but 2 2 right now in the fourth inning. And the young lady from Papillion is pitching tonight for the Sooners. Jordy Ball, yeah. She's getting hit a little bit. Yeah, uh, her defense and her defense has saved several more runs. It's only 2 2, but it could have been a lot worse. But, you know, she's a, a, comp a competitor. That's one thing that they say about her. So I don't know with the injury how much longer she'll go. I got to think they'll probably make a move to the bullpen pretty soon. But, um, you know, this is uh, her first start of the World Series because she came in in relief twice, but this is her first start here on this stage. One of her outfielders robbed Texas of what would have been a three-run home run. Someone went up and pulled it back from the fence, so a terrific play out there. Game two, Sooners win tonight. It's over. If, oh, if Texas can win tonight, they would force a game three tomorrow. Four of the Super Regionals get going tomorrow for college baseball. The other four will jump into the fray on Saturday. So lots to follow over the next couple of days and still uh, busy times around here. Big announcement in college football a couple of hours ago. Lloyd Carr was the longtime head coach of the Michigan Wolverines. His grandson, C.J. Carr, is considered to be one of the top quarterbacks in the class. He did one of those little hat dances tonight. He's not going to where his grandpa was the head coach. He's going to Notre Dame. Wow. How about that? Wow. I wonder if that's going to cause a little rift at Thanksgiving dinner. I'll bet not. Between your grandpa and grandson. I bet grandpa is the biggest fighting Irish fan <laughs> that there ever will be once his son, uh, grandson starts playing there. Notre Dame wins that battle for C.J. Carr. I can't wait for Arch Manning to make his pick. He's probably the highlight of the recruiting class at the quarterback level. Our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family Shop. Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Encore show tomorrow night. Back with another full week of shows for you tomorrow night. Andrew's got big plans for the weekend. I'm just going to hang out here this weekend and uh, you, you're going to work on your golf game. I'm going to try to head out for the course, yep. Good. Very good. Hopefully Andrew joins us back in studio on Monday. <laughs> Have a great night tonight. Thanks to Andrew and Tim for putting this one together tonight. Enjoy the next couple of days. Enjoy some good sports coming on TV throughout the next several days. Have a great night. up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. The 2022 Nissan Rogue Sport is street savvy, road trip ready, and always fun to drive. Equipped with standard features like rear automatic braking, blind spot warning, and high beam assist so you can surround yourself with confidence on the road. Plus, explore the three Rogue Sport trims to find the one that's right for you and your lifestyle. Choose your experience and shop, finance, and purchase online at woodhouse.com 
or in store at Woodhouse Nissan in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. 